Hello, welcome to Creating with Kate. Today we are going to be making coffee filter dragonflies. These ones are exciting because every dragonfly's wings are going to look different and there's no wrong way to do it. So let's get started. For this project, you're going to need coffee filter and some water. The easiest way is to put it in a spray bottle. You're going to need an array of markers, water-based or washable, food coloring, and some pipe cleaners. Any color is good, plus scissors. If you're using basket coffee filters, the first thing you're going to want to do is spread them out as flat as you can. In this first method, I'm experimenting with washable markers. Try using different patterns and different color combinations. When you're picking colors though, keep in mind that these are going to bleed into each other, so maybe consider using those in the same color family. However, it could be an equally wonderful opportunity to see what happens when you mix opposite colors. It's totally up to you. For this next step, you're going to want to have something waterproof underneath your project to protect your work surface. Wax paper or parchment paper or a plastic tablecloth will work really well. Then grab your water and start spraying. How much your colors are going to spread depends on how much water you put on it. I also experimented with adjusting the position of the coffee filter just to see how it would affect the color and the blending. Another method for making it colorful is to use food coloring. Take water, Add a little color and you're ready to go. Once again, you're going to open up your filter and make it as flat as you can make it. But this time you're going to add the water first and then the color. Though before you start, you might want to make sure that your workspace is cleaner than mine was at this point. When working with the food colors, I decided to only use red, yellow, and blue so I could experiment with my color mixing on the coffee filter paper and see how the colors would feather together with this method of painting. I used a spoon to apply the colors and between each color I would wipe it off with a paper towel. And when I felt like I had enough, I stopped. Now before we can move to the next step, we're going to need to wait for the coffee filters to dry. So take a break and come back when they're ready. And when they're ready, take a moment to appreciate how your color creations came out. And now it's time to take our colorful filters and turn them into dragonflies. So take one of your filters and fold it in half, and then cut it into two equal parts. And then take the curvy end and fold it up to make a straight line so that you have a narrow rectangle. Do that on both sides. Taking a pipe cleaner, fold it in half and crimp the end. Holding the two ends together, grab one of your colorful rectangles. Pinch the middle of the paper just a little bit, then slide it in between the ends of the pipe cleaner. Once you have it situated, twist the ends of the pipe cleaner above the paper two or three times. This will help hold the paper in place. Then just underneath the paper, twist pipe cleaners together two or three times again this should secure the wing. Once you feel like your twists are going to hold, grab the second wing, pinching it in the center just a little bit, then thread it through the loop in the pipe cleaner just below the first wing. Get it in there and adjust it as needed until it's right where you'd like it to be, then twist your pipe cleaner closed, starting at the bottom of the second wing and going all the way to the end of the pipe cleaner. Once you've finished twisting and you've straightened it out so it's just so, it's time to think about giving this dragonfly a head. Take the top of the pipe cleaners and twist the ends together and then fold them under so it makes a little ball at the top. Then bend it over to the side and kind of flatten it out and that gives you a dragonfly head. Adjust the wings until it's just the way you like it and voila, a dragonfly. This is another project where the process is almost as fun as the end result. I enjoyed exploring the different materials and seeing how the colors blended in the different methods. Plus, dragonflies are just cool. Thanks for watching. See you next time.